Well, boys, got a different little video for ye here today. <laughs> I just got donated a couple pieces of uh, audio equipment. Um, this is just two of them. But uh, I thought I'd uh, show you these two awesome little relics of the past. Um, we have first going off, we have a, a realistic SA101 uh, salt state stereo amplifier. It has stereo, stereo, mono, speakers in, speakers out, power on off, you got tone, balance, volume, three way selector for tuner, tape, or phono. It's all RCA jacks on back. And then we have this, uh, this awesome little uh, realistic uh, tape machine here. Model number on back here. It is the 14 617 Alpha. Uh, this unit do not have a speaker built into it, so it relies on audio amplification from an external device, such as the realistic stereo amplifier, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, I uh, figured I'd show you this. I even got a few couple of still in the packages unused cassette tapes. Maxwell, Maxwell audio cassette. 60 minutes each side and uh, then we've got the the older multi-purpose 8-pack value pack MP90s still a, still a package of those that are uh, unused that just took this out of the package but uh, you still get cassette tapes <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to just record a bit of audio on the stereo cassette player here to see if it works. Uh, I've yet to try it. So I'm not sure if it's going to eat a cassette tape or not, but I guess we're soon going to find out. And then we're going to take the audio from this and then we're going to drive it into the, the uh, SA-101, which is going to put it onto two Heathkit speakers. So, see, yep, I just tried out the cassette player. I like to play some music on it, but obviously it'd be copyrighted and I'd get a smack on the wrist for it. So I can't play any music or anything from this thing. Uh, this cassette player, it just has rewind, fast forward, play, stop and eject. Uh, this tape recorder do not have any speaker built into it so you have to drive your audio out of the speaker into an amplifier I guess as such as this one here the audio amplifier I did, I did run it the volume control needs some cleaning as well to balance the tone so I'll have to take this apart and give it a cleaning but uh, other than that the realistic SA101 and the realistic SCP-3 are, are working perfect and uh, it's amazing that uh, you still find cassette tapes around anyways this is a little quick video we'll uh, do another video later about taking this little critter apart and doing the cleaning of the controls and stuff because I do believe the preamp might be good enough to pick up the audio from say little receivers that I build from time to time so I guess we'll have to see anyways 7-3 boys and we'll chat later